Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Irving from CBC Sports along with world medalist Anna Patarariu. And this year, the Canadian Championships could not be held in person, so Anna, they've gone virtual. Yes, Brenda, they have all these restrictions in Canada has restricted us from having in-person competitions. Now, normally we'd be seeing you compete at the Nationals, but injuries have left you on the sidelines. Yep, I got surgery on my ankle last year and recovery didn't go as well as planned, so I decided to take this year and heal up and prepare for UCLA in the fall. So this is a two-day virtual competition. We're going to be showing you the top routines across all four of the women's events, juniors and seniors. Included in the list, you're going to see world all-around medalist Ellie Black, world vault medalist Shalyn Olson, Olympian Rose Wu, and world team members uh, Vic Wu and Brooklyn Moores. And we're going to start off with the junior uneven bars event. This is Victoria and Sharon from Jim Richelieu. The 13-year-old trains with Vic and Rose Wu. She starts off with a very nice pack. And goes back up to the high bar with a nice chaposh. You'll see a very beautiful dismount coming up. She does two flips in the layout position. And she's uh, the newest and youngest member of the 2021 team. Her score, 12.4 for a two-day total of 24.3. Now, this is Rebecca Gru from Jim Richelieu. She was on the junior national team. She's been on it since 2018. Yes, Rebecca comes with a lot of experience. She starts with the Pike Jaeger. She has a lot of power, this little one. And her dismount will be two flips forwards in the tuck position. Very nice. Score 12.350, two-day total 24.550. And we're going to be hearing a lot and seeing a lot of this woman, Aurelie Tran from Gymnix newly named to the national team this year. She starts off with a very beautiful connection. Shaposh to pack. She has very nice lines on this event. Lots of height and amplitude on that Jaeger. Duck double tuck, wow. Great routine. And her score 12.850 for a two day total 25.60. So Oralee wins the title in the junior competition. Rebecca Gru finishes in second place and Victoria and Sharon in third. Now to the senior uneven bars competition. Here is Rose Wu. This is her day two bars routine. Of course, she's a 2016 Olympian, alternate for the 2019 World Championship team. And she loves, as you know, Anna, training on bars because she says it's fun, never boring. <laughs> well, you can see her bar routine is terrific. Such explosiveness on everything she does. Perfectly stuck, double front dismount. 13.650, a total of 25.950. Now to Cambridge, Ontario, Dynamo Gymnastics. This is Emma Spence. She was a 2018 Youth Olympian, won bronze on vault, and was named as Canadian team flag bearer for the closing ceremony. And she will be heading to the University of Nebraska in the fall. Brenda, she is so excited for that. Emma brings a lot of skill to the team. 
Very beautiful Shapash half. Very difficult. Nicely done, Pike Jaeger. The stuck double back dismount. Her score for that routine, 13.150, total 26.350. Here is uh, Canadian Ellie Black out of Halifax, Alta Gymnastics. The 2017 World All-Around Silver Medalist. We can go on and on here. Six-time Canadian All-Around Champion. And she used to be, and some would say still is, pretty scared of bars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she does have her mental blocks, but she always overcomes them like a champ. Nellie had an ankle injury, very serious, in the fall of 2019 and made a miraculous recovery. And very Ava nice. Ava Stewart. Ava. Come on. Here's Ava Stewart, a teammate of yours at Gemini Gymnastics, a first year senior now eligible for the Olympics due to the delay to the 2020, what were originally 2020 Olympics. And by the way, Canada will name its Olympic team on June 17th, and the selection committee will have a very tough decision figuring out which four women descend to this year's Olympics. They really will, Brenda. It's been amazing seeing this little one grow this past year. Especially on bar, she brings terrific skill, and her dismount is very unique. And her difficulties, world class, 14.500 for Ava Stewart. And as you can see, she wins the overall seniors uneven bars competition. Ellie Black is in second place. Emma Spence in third, Rose Wu in fourth. Here is Rebecca Grew on beam in the junior competition. Her parents, Anna, were actually weightlifters who participated in the Commonwealth Games and Olympic Games. That is pretty impressive. No wonder she has such a strong build and power in her moves. Starts off with a backhand spring layout. And this is the event, uh, Beam, where you won a, a medal at the World Championships. I did, Brenda, in 2018. That was a pretty incredible moment. Very nice splits. Hitting that 180 in the air. You can see her confidence on this event, something that's very hard to do on a four inch beam. And she dismounts with the layout dismount. And her score, 12.6 uh, for a total of 24.750. Here is Amy Jorgensen from the Marion Gymnastics Club in Saskatoon. Now you can see Amy's competing with a mask on. That is very difficult endurance-wise also. Well, because of the different restrictions in different parts of the country, you're going to see some of these gymnasts with masks on, some with masks off. Yeah, I applaud her a lot for that. Beautifully stuck, back handspring layout. We should say that Gymnastics Canada, they're hoping to host in-person Canadian championships in men's artistic gymnastics and trampoline in the fall. So hopeful that that will happen, that we will get back to life as we once knew it. Hopefully soon. Nicely done switch half. And Amy finishes with the double twist dismount. 12.650, a total of 24.850. Yeah. 
Now to Jenna Lalonde, the Ottawa Gymnastics Center, and she was locked down and locked out for uh, most of the year. The Canadian Championships is her first full meet of the year. That's very impressive. Jenna, you can see, has beautiful lines. Oh, amazing side aerial layout. Her toe point is gorgeous. Difficult skill, a nodi, a skill you don't see very often. Now these are the juniors, but the, the women's artistic gymnastics, Canadian championships for novice and for junior Olympic athletes are gonna take place virtually. And that will happen in June from the 14th to the 27th. This is a very nice routine after being locked down for so long. Proves that gymnasts can take time off and still come back in peak shape. Thirteen point one, a total of twenty five point zero five zero for Jenna. Aurelie Tron from Gymnix, and she won every possible gold medal during the Elite Canada series in twenty twenty one. Starts off with the switch blip mount. Shows nice flexibility in her dance elements. And she'll do the same acro series as Jenna, the side aerial to the aerial layout step out. The next Canadian Championships, Anna will be in rhythmic gymnastics, also taking place virtually. That will happen in June and July with the junior and senior results on July 26th and the novice results on August 7th. Gives the girls something to look forward to. What are some of the challenges of competing virtually? Um, well, the atmosphere and environment is very different. And you don't get the support from the audience, but you can hear in these videos that teammates and coaches try to support as much as possible. It's definitely much tougher. And I would imagine every athlete is a little bit different. Some may prefer not having the pressure of a crowd and an audience. Others may like this a little bit better, mm. not feel that same pressure. That's true. 12.900, her score for a combined total, 25.450. So Aurelie Tron uh, wins the junior beam competition. Jenna Lalonde in second and Amy Jorgensen in third. Now to the senior beam competition. And this is Victoria Wu's day two routine. And this would earn her a score of 13.25. That was third place for the day. And her combined score would leave her finishing fifth overall. Victoria out of Jim Richelieu and a member of the 2014-2019 World Championship team. You can see in Victoria's routines her confidence that has been built in through all those years of experience. And Victoria was part of the team that earned Canada a team berth to the Tokyo Olympics. Yes, yeah, she's a big contributor. Amazing teammate, very supportive. Now these speed beams that you see are, are the main uh, source of equipment for us internationally and happens to be one of my favorite beams actually. <laughs> And I think that was the beam that uh, you competed on at the 2019 World Cup in Stuttgart, where you beat 
Simone Biles. <laughs> it was indeed, Brenda. Beautiful routine from Victoria Wu. We want to show you her sister, Rose Wu, from Jim Richelieu as well, the 2016 Olympian and the alternate for that 2019 World Championship team. A very nice background of Rose's name plastered on the wall and the Olympics that she went to. And both the sisters have had some pretty serious injuries over the last year. Rose actually was saying that she welcomed the downtime because of the pandemic. It allowed her to heal her injury and she's back on form. That is one good thing about this pandemic was the downtime for sure. She's very solid on this event. And you'll see the dismount, the double pike, two flips in a pike position. And sticks the landing. That was good for a score of 13.400, total 26.050. Now, Jessica Dowling from the Kitchener Waterloo Gymnastics Club. Have a difficult connection here. Back answering to the two layouts. Perfectly stuck. <laughs> Jessica also has a lot of experience. She, I want to say, is probably the oldest in the Canadian team. But in still top shape. As we mentioned, Canada sending uh, four women to the Olympics. A Canada's lone man will be Rene Cornway, who qualified at the 2019 World Championships in Stuttgart, Germany. And Jessica finishes off with her back handspring, back handspring, double twist. Score 13.400, a combined score 26.050. Canadian Championships Day 1, Bean. Here is Ava. Ava Stewart, your teammate at Gemini Gymnastics. And this would be considered, I would imagine, her second best event behind uneven bars. Well, when she hits this event, it's definitely one of her top as well. And Elena Davidova is our coach. She is 1980 Olympic champion and top FIG judge and top Canadian coach. She has a lot of experience under her belt. And Ava's still very young, won't turn 16, I believe, until September. So if she was to make the Olympic team, she uh, very well could be Canada's youngest Olympic athlete at the Tokyo Games. Because of the postponement of those Olympic Games, that is how she became age eligible. So the pandemic affected uh, every athlete a little bit differently. For some, it was Welcome news for others. Uh, it didn't quite work out as planned. Her score 
four zero zero a combined total of twenty six point two zero zero now Ellie Black this is from day two coached by David Kikuchi former Canadian Olympic men's artistic gymnastics member head coach of the Canadian team and Ellie's personal coach You can also see how sparkly these Leos are. They're provided from GK Elite. And if Ellie was to qualify for this Olympic Games in Tokyo, it would be her third Olympics. And that would be tying for third Olympics alongside Teresa McDonald. And I know, Anna, you spoke about uh, the leadership that Ellie brings to this team. I know it's meant a lot to, to you over the years. She's been such a big influence. Um, for me and for many other gymnasts. Ellie score 14.350, the total 28.450, and Ellie Black wins the senior beam competition. Ava Stewart in second place and tying for third, Jessica Dowling and Rose Wu. Now to the junior vault competition, and this is Orly Tron. From day one, this is vault number two for her. Very high Yurchenko layout. Score was 12.900. Coming up, this is day two, vault number one. Beautifully done, Yurchenko, full. She has the highest execution score of anyone in the competition. Her average score would be 26.15. Here is Victoria and Chiron, day two, vault number one. Another Yurchenko full. Very nice landing. 13.700, her score. Here's vault number two. And she will also be doing the Yurchenko layout. Beautiful position. 13.1 the score, average score 26.6. .6. Now, Virginie Terria, day one, vault one. That earned her a score of 13.600 and vault number two on day one for her. And Brenda, you can see here, uh, Kanda has some promising vaulters coming up. Certainly do. 13.4 for Virginie. Average score 26.975. Now, Tegan Shaver, this is from day one of the two-day competition. This is vault one. She does a terrific Yurchenko one and a half. Her score was 13.9. Uh, Here is her second vault. We should mention she just came back from lockdown and only did two events at these Canadian championships. Her, her score there, 13.4. Average score, 27.150. And Tegan wins the junior vault competition. Uh, Virginie Terrien in second place and Victoria Ann Chiron in third. Now to the senior vault competition. And this is Lori Demony. Day one, her only vault. And it would earn her a score of 14.050. And that will, would count toward the all-around score for Lori. And this is a new vault for her. Her two-day count would be 28.100. Now this is Sophie Merois, day one, vault one. She was a member of the 2018 World Championship team. You'll see here the double twist. No question, this is Sophie's best apparatus. 13.750 was her score. And here is vault number two. And this vault has a different entry. 
It isn't the Yurchenko, it's called the Sukahara. Her score, 13.4000, and the average score, 26.925. Now to Ellie Black in Halifax. Her day Running. one vault one coming up. She's very powerful on this event. 14.500, and this was the event where Ellie injured her ankle at the World Championships in Stuttgart in 2019. It took her a while to get back on the horse, so to speak. <laughs> she was happy about that one for sure. 14.400, average score 29.375. Now to Shallon Olson. This is day two for her, vault number two. She's a 2016 Olympian, qualified to the vault finals, participated to each vault final during this cycle at the World Championships. This is where she hopes, if she is named to the Olympic team, to win a medal in Tokyo. Uh, that first score, 14.450. Shallon is running. And that vault would earn her a score of 14.550, average score 29. 5-7-5, five, five, and she wins the senior vault competition. Ellie Black in second place. Uh, Sophie Merois in third place with a score of 27.2. Now to the junior floor competition. This is Evandra Zlobek from Wim Gym. And she has three sisters that all did competitive gymnastics at one point and actually participated in the Canadian Championships. A strong yet graceful routine from Evandra. 12.300 combined Amy? score 24.550. Here again is Amy Jorgensen from the Marion Gymnastics Club in Saskatoon. We saw her on beam with the mask on, and here she does a floor routine as well, which must have been very tough, but she handles it very well. 
12.650. Her score combined 24.850. Here is Victoria Chiron from day one. She was second in the all-around competition, also second on floors, floor and second on bars during the 2021 Elite Canada Series. Even though she's one of the youngest in the competition, she still shows incredible tumbling skills. 12.950 total, 25.600. Here again, Orly Tron from Gymnix. You'll see great poise in this routine. She used to train at Renee's gym, but now she moved to Gymnix a year ago, and she's doing very, very well. Great floor routine, 13.250, a total of 26.250, and Orly Tron wins the junior floor competition. Victoria and Sharon in second place, and Amy Jorgensen in third. Now, to the senior floor competition, we wanted to show you this Floor routine by Audrey Russo. This is her day two routine. It earned her a score of 13.15, and she wound up finishing seventh overall on floor. Audrey's actually coming back from retirement in 2019. Member of the 2015 World Championship team. Audrey performing at the INS, which is Jim Can's National Training Center and Olympic Preparation Site for Artistic and Trampoline Gymnasts.
exceptional tumbling Ava from her. Canadian Championship There's Ava Stewart. One, floor exercise. Ava. And, and his teammate and also trains with junior national team member Bailey Inglis. You've been able to watch Ava develop over the years. How quickly has her gymnastics grown within the last year? She's worked so hard this past year. Her and Elena together, it's been incredible. 13.050 for Ava, a total of 25.900. Now this is Lillian Bate, her day two routine out of Diamond O Gymnastics in Cambridge. There is a, an elite group of gymnasts which train out of this gym, including Emma Spence, Brooklyn Moores, and Leah as well. Lillian burst onto the scene not too long ago, and she'll definitely be one to watch for in the future years. Thirteen point zero five zero, a total score twenty six point zero five zero. Day one. Here is Ellie Black from day one. And this incredibly is her eleventh year in the senior category. And she has new choreography this year. Floor one of her strongest events. As you can see from these tumbling passes, very unique. I say it's one of her strongest events. I don't know if she has a weak event anymore. Uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why she is world class in the all around competition.
What an amazing routine for Ellie. 13.350 total, 26.4. And here is uh, the top floor performer at this year's Canadian Championships. No surprise, Brooklyn Moores. Burst into the international scene in 2017 by qualifying to two finals and winning the Longis Prize of Elegance at the World Championships. You'll see her elegance displayed throughout this entire floor routine. Oh, I get chills every time I watch this routine. And what makes that routine and that performance so remarkable, it was just, uh, I think in March, you and I were in the gym watching her perform her first tumbling pass in about seven or eight months. And uh, how far she has come in such a relatively short period of time. She has undergone a lot of injuries, but Brooklyn Moore is back on top, uh, winning the floor competition. And here's the winners of the junior all around competition, as we see, Aurelie Tron in first place, uh, Victoria Ann Chiron in second, and Amy Jorgensen in third place. And in the senior competition, uh, no surprise, Ellie Black on top, Ava Stewart in second, and Lori Deneme in third place. For Anna Patarariu, I'm Brenda Irving. Uh, for complete scoring, go to jimcan.org. Thanks for watching.